in order to to kind of set the table for this, we've got to go back to, say, 1960. In 1960, there were differences between Republicans and Democrats in the United States. And that was when, by the way, John F. Kennedy ran against uh, Richard Nixon. And uh, and yet, uh, basically, the differences were over, uh, you know, tariffs, marginal tax rates, uh, and, and, and some important national defense issues in the middle of the Cold War. But there was no disagreement over the most fundamental questions of society. There, there was enormous bipartisan unity. No, there's no abortion on the ballot. There's no, there's no same-sex marriage on the ballot, not even envisionable. You fast forward to the year 1980, and American politics has profoundly changed. Now, when you say Democrat and Republican, you're talking about two increasingly different worldviews. Fast forward 40 years from there uh, to the 2020 election. And, and the big problem is that the only real debate is within the two parties. It, it's what will a Republican you know, uh, proposal look like uh, and, and what will a Democratic proposal look like? So to, to answer your question most directly, the big problem is not just that it was Joe Biden who is and was the standard bearer for the Democratic Party. It's that the Democratic Party was moving steadily left, and even Joe Biden was moving steadily left and has, even since his nomination and his election, moved steadily left. The left wing of the Democratic Party is obviously setting the table here. And uh, yeah, many of us have tremendous concerns about that because we can see exactly where this is going because it's not hidden. They're telling us right up front. The the two worldviews that you talk about are very profound. They're extant really in every Western country now, Dr. Mueller. Uh, one is essentially derived from, I suppose you'd say, the Judeo-Christian uh, sort of uh, uh, worldview including in terms of government, as people are now starting to talk about, the the exodus model of covenantal governance, of cooperation, of subsidiarity, do what you can for yourself, don't pass it up to the next level if you can avoid it. And the new worldview, which is so, as you say, so radically different, that it seems to me to focus on the idea that we can each be our own God, which is really the oldest worldview of all, I suppose you'd say. But it's now writ large, it's celebrated, uh, and all it does is lead to deep division, perhaps most simply because if anybody else dares to suggest, oh, no, I'm God over my life and I'm God, I say I'm God over my life, you immediately have a clash. And so you see this disintegration, this loss of unity that's reflected in those vastly different platforms that you're talking about from 1960 through to today. Uh, 